Nowadays, it's not a scam. It's a legend call. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm returning a call. I got a voicemail to call this number. Something <laughs> illegal activity or something with my Social Security. Okay, at what time did you got the call, sir? Oh, gee, it was probably 3.30. I just got home. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Can you spell out your first and last name so I can plot the file and provide you all information? My first name is Stanley, S-T-A-N-L-Y. All right. My last, last name is Babushka, B-A-B-U-S-H-K-A. -A. Stanley Babushka. All right, Mr. Stanley, just give me a moment. Let me plot your file, first of all. Okay. And what's the zip code, Mr. Stanley? 13118. All right, just give me a moment. Let me plot your file, first of all. Okay. Okay, all right, Mr. Stanley, I've got your file. So my name is Officer Chris Thompson from Social Security Administration at the batch ID KC1147, okay? Now, Mr. Stanley, the reason you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some criminal allegations filed against your Social Security number. So are you aware about it? Do you have any idea about this? Well, well no. That's why I got the phone call. I don't know anything about it. What's it mean? Okay. Well, Mr. Stanley, let me explain you what happened okay. is that your social security number has been stolen. It has been compromised, which means someone else is misusing your social for some criminal activities without your knowledge, without your permission. So that's the reason currently there are four serious criminal allegations that has been filed against your name. Against so me? Do you have any but idea I... about this case? No. Okay. In that case, let me give you some information and let you know what's exactly happening Who? on your social. But before that, I need to verify whether I'm speaking with the right person or not, okay? Okay. So first of all, Mr. Stanley, can you just confirm your date of birth for the verification process? 3 16 1950 3 16 right? Yes. All right. And can you just confirm your social for the verification process? 0 8 Can you just repeat that once again? Zero eight six one zero one four six three. All right. Just give me a moment. Let me verify this information in my system. Then I'll provide you each and every information regarding your case. All right? Okay. And in the meanwhile, can you just grab all the pen and paper so you can write down some information regarding your case? Okay. Are you ready with the pen and paper? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, all right. So before I provide you any information, let me inform you. Right now, this is a legal case. It's a confidential matter. So first of all, you need to be in a private place by yourself. So are you in a private place right now by yourself? I'm in my house. I, I don't know how. what you mean. I don't know. So, right now. Who? Are you alone right now? No. No, I'm in my house. Are you by yourself? Are you alone? Oh, okay, all right. no, no, now, first of all, just my cousin. My no, I'm not, I'm not right. Go ahead. First of all, just write down my name. This uh, is Officer Chris Thompson. Okay. Chris Thompson. I got it. Go ahead. Now just write down my batch ID. My batch ID is K as in Kevin. K. C as in Charlie. Charlie. 1147. 47. Okay. Now before I provide you your case ID, can you just let me know? In which state was your social security number issued? The name of the state where you got your social? New York. In which year? 1950. All right. So I've verified you. I can see in my system it has been in the state of New York. That's right. Write down your case ID. Your case ID is C as in Charlie. C as in Charlie. S as in Sam. S as in Sam. W as in William. W. Go ahead. 0039. Okay. Can you repeat your case ID? KC1147. That's my batch ID. I oh. told you to repeat your case ID. Oh, oh, oh. CSW0039. Correct. Now just write down the name of our department. You have reached to the Social Security Headquarters Legal and Investigation Department. Okay. Now just keep aside the pen and paper and listen to me carefully. Who? Right now Who? on this recorded line, I'm going to provide you Right now, on this recorded line, I'm going to provide you each and every information regarding your case. 
So please do not interrupt me. Okay. Once Go I ahead. complete my part, right. I'll give you fair okay. chance to speak. Go Am ahead. I clear? Go ahead. All, All right. right. All right. And I'm ready. And just actually let me inform. Right now, we do not know who is Don't the person know. who has stolen your social security number. Who? It might be anyone, like any for family member, friends, relatives, or co-workers who are close to you, who know you very well. Right. So, until and unless wow. we resolve this matter for today, yeah. you are not authorized to disclose oh. this matter to any third person. Who? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Why? Mr. Stanley, I told yeah. you right now, we do not know oh. who is the person who has stolen your social security right. number. Okay. It might be anyone, like any, any okay. family, friend, relative, right. or co-workers, okay. who are close to you, who know you very well. Okay. So, until and unless we resolve this matter for you today, you are not authorized to disclose this matter to any third person. Do you understand me? Because. Yes. Are you listening to me or not? Yes. Who are you speaking with? Pardon me? Who? Who are you speaking with? Are you listening to me or not? No, who's on first? Are you speaking with your own self? Or speaking with the... I'm speaking Sorry? to you. You. Chris Thompson. All right. Now just listen to me. Okay. Now just listen to me carefully. I'm going Why? to provide you all the information regarding your case. Okay. And do not interrupt me. No. Thing, okay? Go ahead. Once I complete that part, I'm I'll ready. give you a fair chance to speak. Okay. So, Mr. Stanley, the reason you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security number. Okay. We have got an order to suspend your social at very right moment. This very, no, right now? Any suspicious activities. On, Mr. Stanley, I told you not to interrupt me, right? We you have been, English? We have, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. So what, what's your problem? No problem. Do you want to know about the case or not? Yes, I do. Yes, go ahead. Today, yes. Jason, why are you interrupting me? I'm not. Go ahead. The reason you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security number. Okay. We have got an order to suspend your social at very right moment. Because right now, okay. we have found many suspicious activities on your Mm -hmm. Your social has been found suspicious right. of fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Oh, no, I'm in, I'm in New York. In Chris, 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 I'm in New York. And do you know anyone who lives in the state of Texas? No, I don't know anyone who lives in the state of Texas. Okay, all right. Now, let me inform you about the investigation so that okay. you can understand what's exactly happening on your social. Okay. So listen to me very carefully, gonna, all right? Yes. So when we started the investigation, we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car Why? contained some blood and drug residues inside it. And after further investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name under your what? personal source what? information. And there are two addresses linked with the title of that car. The one address in the city of New Mexico. The was city, paid the city of what? Right? Well, I didn't hear the city. I didn't hear the city. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What city? Mexico. New Mexico, Texas. One address in the city of New Mexico. New Mexico, Texas. No, I don't know anybody in New Mexico, um, Texas either. Will you, will you let me speak, Mr. Stanley? Yes, go ahead. I'm just telling you, I don't I know anyone. Me, right? I don't know anyone in New Mexico, Texas. Don't yell did at I me. Ask you, did I ask you anything? Right now, what is the information regarding your case, right? Okay. If you don't want to know about the case, then hang up the call. I don't know. So if you don't know anything, why are you not listening to me? I'm trying, sir. Okay, go ahead. So proceed further. Pardon me? Keep quiet and listen to me so you can understand what the case is about. Just keep quiet and listen to me, first of all. Okay. I don't want any interruptions from your side. You, you understand don't. that? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore. So the one address in the city of New Mexico was read by the U.S. Marshal. Yep. And uh, we found some 22 pounds of drug inside the residence. What kind of drugs? And there are some financial documents from several bank accounts. Huh. The, the drugs was cocaine, 22 pounds oh, of cocaine. cocaine. Okay, we found 22 you. pounds of cocaine 22. inside the residence. Okay. Which is an abusive drug. Sure is. And some documentation from various financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank will receive. Mm -hmm. And all the paperwork has your name on it 
and thousands of dollars has been transferred from this account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. So it does so to do me too. Do you have too. any idea about this criminal activity? No. It's very suspicious to me, since I don't even know how to wire money. I don't know how to wire money. So you mean to say you're not the person doing this? That's what I mean to like say, like yes. I mean to say, Mexico? I'm not. I, New Mexico, Texas, I don't know anybody in, in New Mexico, case? Texas. I've never been to New Mexico, Texas. Never. All right. Okay. In that case, Mr. Stanley, I need to ask you a few legal questions on this recorded line. I need to ask, you need to answer me honestly so that I can help you in this legal case, all right? Who? So first of all, Mr. Stanley, can you let me know, have you ever lost your wallet before? I don't know. Apart from you, how many other people know about your social security number? Today. I'm asking you, apart from you, how many other people know about your social security number? Oh, nobody that I know of. All right. And... Have you ever put your social information online for any online shopping, job application, or for any oh, own purposes? I put it on TikTok. Sorry? TikTok. Somebody asked me for it on TikTok. And do you have any doubt on anyone who might have misused your social for you, this kind of criminal activities? Yeah, I got one guy I know. He's in North Carolina, and he's a little shady. He could have gotten it somehow. His name is G Man. G Man. He's from New North Carolina, and you know how them people are down there. They're a little shady. He got caught making moonshine. All right, I record your statement. Thanks for being okay, honest. Okay, good. Okay. As I informed you about this criminal activity which are happening on your social. Okay. Due to this criminal activities, yes. Social Security Administration okay. has filed four serious criminal allegations against you. Against the me? Yeah. Why don't you file them against G-Man? Yes. Yes, against you, motherfucker. Against you. Me? I didn't do anything. I'm going to chop off your balls today inside the jail. I'm going to your father inside the jail, motherfucker. Motherfucker? Who you call him, motherfucker? You Ben Chode? Who you call him, motherfucker? Son, you're a fucking... Don't you're call me motherfucker. Call your fucking gun. You, you scamming bastard, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah.